hey guys, good morning. So, anyways, I was just laying in here in my bed, and last night was a night from hell, like OMG. So, yesterday, um, and like a couple of days before that, like I could tell my back was hurting real bad, and I really didn't think nothing of it. I was like, you know, whatever you know, getting busy working and all this kind of crap. And, um, so last night around, <clears throat> well, around 11, I had went to lay down and I told Justice, I'm like, well, I don't feel good. I'm going to go in here and lay down. And I laid down and I woke up around, well, actually I laid here. I didn't sleep until like probably two or so. Lay down, went to sleep, woke up with the worst freaking pain that I've ever experienced in a long, long time. Like, it kind of felt worse than labor pains. Like, the pain was just unbearable. I could barely walk. My stomach was hurting. Uh, my back was hurting. And then I went and peed, and I started burning, like, extremely bad. Um, I've had UTIs before, but nothing ever like this. And so... <clears throat> I was like walking around and trying to get my back to stop hurting. And so I came back to lay down and it happened again. Like just, I just, it was unbearable. So I got back up and went and peed because I kept feeling like I had to pee like a whole lot. And so I would go in there and sit and pee. And um, then I noticed that like, I started bleeding like it wasn't like period blood or anything like that but it was like just like a pink like a light pink blood i'm like well dang i thought it was like kidney stones or something because i've like i've had utis a long time ago and it was nothing like this so i'm like well this is weird so i'm up walking around and justice was like trying to help me and bless his heart he was just like asking me if I was okay and just like trying to take care of me and I'm like yes and I'm fine I just don't feel good so anyways couldn't get the pain to stop so I end up driving justice to his aunt's house um it was closer than having to take him to his dad's house so I, dr I drove him there barely made it to the hospital like I was in so much pain it was horrible and um uh, which this thing with the COVID, like Justice wanted to go with me because he was worried about me, but I told him that, you know, COVID, and I, and I don't want him in the hospital or whatever. But going to the ER, dealing with COVID, like you have to like walk in and um, they have this little section where they like ask you these questions, take your temperature and everything and ask if you've been around anything with COVID or any of that kind of crap. And I told them my situation and I told them that I don't have COVID, that I get tests on a weekly basis every Tuesday. So everybody else had to sit in their car and wait, but they took me straight back. Like, I guess they could tell that I was in like, I was in so much pain. It was horrible. Um, so I get back there and um, I laid in there for about, like, they were coming in and out, but at least 30, 40 minutes before they even gave me any kind of, like, pain medicine or I started throwing up because I was hurting so bad. And, oh, my gosh, it was horrible. So, they gave me an IV of fluid, um, some pain medicine, nausea medicine, and a little thing of... Um, a little bag of antibiotics because I have like it showed up that I had a UTI but he ran all these tests for um like kidney stones he done blood work just a whole big slew full of tests that he done um and once the medicine got in my system the pain medicine I felt so much better um and I had to wait there but I was throwing up so bad when I first got there where I was hurting so bad. Um, but all those tests came back good. I have a, a really bad UTI. I've not had a UTI in years. I'm talking a long time. Like, I've done so good. But at work, they give us, like, drinks, like, 
stock Cokes and Cokes and Mountain Dews and stuff. Well, this past week, stupid me, I was real thirsty. I didn't bring anything to work that day because I was running late. And I had drank throughout the week about four or five different Mountain Dews. And then I had a Dot Coke the other day. A huge mistake. I don't do it no more. Now I know why I don't drink Cokes or any kind of crap like that. So I got home early this morning and I laid down and slept a little bit, probably a couple hours. And then um, now I've got to, I want to get a shower, but I'm just so tired and I don't feel good. Like I'm very bad exhausted, like extremely bad exhausted. I did have a fever too yesterday. It wasn't bad, but it was from the, I guess the infection or whatever. Um, I want to get up and take a shower. I know it will make me feel better, but I don't think I'm going to because I'm just, I'm freaking weak and I just don't feel good. Um, I barely drove myself to the ER. Like, oh my God. Like, every time I'm sick, I just want my mom so bad. And I remember driving and I'm like, I can do this, you know, and I don't know, just when you're sick, you need your mama. And I hate when I get sick because this is the shape that I get. Like, I start missing her so bad. And I don't even know why I'm vlogging this. I guess I'm just sitting here by myself, bored and lonely. Um, I'm not bored. I'm just, I don't know. I just, I'm not one to sit and rest or lay around. And when it, like, when this gets here where I'm at, like, I don't do good with rest. Never have. But I've got to, oh, God, I don't feel good. I still feel those, um, the pain medication, like, it's starting to wear off. And so I'm starting to hurt again. Like my freaking back. But I got to go to. Um, Walgreens and give my prescriptions get that filled and then I'll probably go to Food City and do some like I need to grocery shop but I'm not getting a whole lot because I don't feel good and I need waters and I need Gatorade I'm just I just I'm tired and I don't feel good but I gotta get it done That this is one con. You know, you have pros and cons of being single. This is one con of being alone is not having somebody when you need them and you're all alone. And But it's okay. This crap makes it stronger and I don't know. I do need some coffee. It would be nice if I had somebody that would be like, here, honey, here's you some coffee. But I don't have that. So I've got to get up and make me a cup of coffee. And I'll probably bring it back in here in the bed and just lay and then get up and go. I'm not taking a shower. I don't feel good. So, that's that. Yeah, I just, I hate being sick because when I get sick, I get emotional. Because I'm never down. But it is what it is. I'm just glad that I'm okay and it wasn't a freaking kidney stone because... Like, I started bleeding, like, and I'm still doing it. Like, when I pee, like, this bright blood comes out. But he said that I had a really, really bad one. Um, and he told me that if I wasn't better in three days to come back and see him. But, I, I mean, I already feel a whole, whole lot better than what I did when, like, the antibiotics and those pain pills that, that they gave me. Well, it wasn't pills. It was through IV, but... Anyways, I just figured I'd vlog today so so I can upload y'all a video. I've not really been vlogging or uploading videos like I should. I need to. I just, I've been working so much. And, oh my God, I'm going to be so emotional. And, like, this COVID crap with um the whole COVID thing and the nursing home and people not being able to see their families. It's just so hard. And 
I think that sometimes I just forget about myself. Yeah, here we go. Let's cry. <laughs> But it's just heartbreaking, and I'm just really tired, like, physically and mentally tired. I'm okay, y'all, I promise. I'm just emotional from this. Whenever I get down like this, sick, this is what happens to me. But it's just, it's been so hard working at the nursing home, and, you know, people, like, Give, are giving up, which they've been giving up for a while, but it's sad. I'm just over COVID and all the bull crap that's with it. Think positive, I know, and I do, but sometimes this is where we get. Um, I don't know. So, I'm going to get up, make me some coffee. Coffee always makes me feel better. And by the way, I have this shirt that says Latte and Lounging. I think that's what it says, but that's exactly what I'll be doing today. Look at that. This is my little favorite pillow. The people there at the hospital were so nice to me, like really nice. The doctor was extremely nice. Um, I told the doctor when I was leaving, I said, I'm so embarrassed. I said, I'm up in here brawless. And he's like, honey, we see that every day. I'm like, yeah, I see stuff like that every day at work too. But when it's yourself, you feel weird. And he patted me on the shoulder and he's like, get to feeling better. I'm glad that you're feeling somewhat better. Like they knew that I was in like, I don't like if I have pain, I can bear it really good, but. That pain was worse than labor pains. It was just so freaking bad. But we got cracking up about that. Me being brawless and I had a clipboard and I was trying to like hide myself. I was like, I've got to get out of here. But they gave me this thing to throw up in. It was like a little like long thing. I'm like, Lord, normally I'm on the other side of the end helping people and I'm so not used to this and like the lady that this is a bad view. The lady that was my nurse, um, she like after she had hooked me up and everything, I said, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to go need to pee a bunch of times because especially like they were giving me fluid and stuff. But I said, this freaking burns and I feel like I have to pee a lot. And I said, I don't want to bother you. And she's like, I can take this rail down. And she unplugged the thing that was holding the IV so I could just roll it in there when I needed to. So, I told her, I was like, I, I, like, I know y'all get overworked and I don't want to bother you. So, she's like, no, you're fine. She was very polite and uh, respectful. And, like, every one of them was so kind to me last night. And she's, she's like, well, she's like, I see you're in the, um, um, uh, medical field too and I'm like yes I told her where I worked and what I done and so we just kind of talked about that but anyway so y'all just say a prayer for me please I'd really appreciate it and um I'm going to Get me some coffee and that will make me feel better until I get up and go. Because like I said, I ain't taking no shower this morning. I ain't going to do it. I don't feel like it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find me some really comfortable clothes on. And run and get my medicine filled. They gave me like antibiotics and uh, pain pills and nausea pills to take. So, luckily I'm off this weekend. And then he gave me one day off so I could take Monday off if I want to. So if I'm not any better, I'm taking Monday off. And then I'm off Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's just the days that I'm off, those two days. But yeah, I got to get feeling better. My, I have my kids this week and um, they're not here right now. But 
after I get my stuff, I'm going to get them back. But, like, I've got to get feeling better because we have things to do. And I just extremely miss my mom right now. Like, every time I get sick, I do this. But it's okay because, you know, this stuff makes you stronger in life. So, anyways, I'm going to get off of here and go make me some coffee. And, by the way, I need coffee because, like, I have coffee in there. But I'm burnt out on that chocolate coffee. So, I'm going to have to get me some coffee, too. I have sit and rambled for 15 minutes. So, I shall return. This is my freaking coffee mug addiction type deal i have more too i just haven't put them up here they're in the dishwasher we're gonna have this one today mom life is the best life. so this is the, all the coffee that i have left this is decaf i don't want no decaf and i've been using or drinking this a lot the noni's um Special edition milk chocolate hazelnut. They're really good, but I've just, I'm burnt out. And then I have these ones. They're cheaper coffees. I just, I need some like really good coffee, like Folgers or Green Mountain or something like that. I'm just, gosh, I'm over these. Make this coffee. I planned on cleaning today some since it's my off day, but guess what? Change of plans. My back's starting to hurt more since this medicine's getting out of my system. And I'm going to have to drink this and get ready to go get my medicine. So, I've just been using this French vanilla um, creamer. This seems like it's taken forever today. I think it's just where I feel bad. Come on, coffee. Please. That's the best sound ever, just saying. Liquid gold. So even though, even though I do hear cars all the time, and like this is just my little serenity area like this one little area here which i've showed y'all time and time after again but uh this always makes my heart happy just seeing this i know it's not much to look at but there's all kinds of like birds that come out and flowers that bloom in the springtime and roses and there's blackberries down through there like not now i don't think but they're probably gone now but um you can hear all the bugs and it's just a perfect little area to just sit and meditate and drink a coffee. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get ready and get my medicine. And then look at my marigolds. Like, never mind my feet. They look like crap, but aren't they pretty? And it's thundering. I didn't know it was supposed to storm today. I had totally planned on going to get my, my nails done because they look horrible t this weekend, but that ain't going to happen. Like, I feel really bad. <sighs> so, um, I'm going to attempt to drink this. It's probably too hot right now, but I look like death warmed over, guys.
That ain't nothing like a good old cup of coffee. <clears throat> but yeah, that shot of medicine that they gave me really helped and now it's easing off. So I've got to get the, I've got to get to the daggum store and grocery store. I'm just having one of those days where I don't want to do it. Like I don't want to get up and do it just because I feel bad, but I'm going to have to. I know this is going to be a good old complaining video guys, but this is reality. This is my reality right now. So <clears throat> just the raw real deal of me right now, but, and honestly, I didn't get that much sleep either. Like when I came home, probably about two hours, if that. But yeah, I'm not drinking any more Mountain Dews or Cokes for a long time. I knew, like, I quit drinking them for years, like, for years, and I, and I haven't had a UTI in years. Um, the moment that I had a couple of those back to back that week, boom. And I used to get them all the time, and it was because of all the sugar and the caffeine. Um, it's not worth it at all. I shouldn't even be drinking this coffee right now because it's got caffeine in it, but I feel like crap and I need to pick me up. I can't, I can't get rid of coffee, y'all. Just can't do it. Um, but the coffee's not what done it. It was the freaking Mountain Dews. Anyways, knowing my luck, I'll get my clothes on and then it's going to start piss pouring to rain and I'm going to get drenched which that'll be okay too, right? Be perfectly fine. 20 minutes later and it's still full. I've been listening to it thunder and listening to Pandora. I've been listening to Lauren Daigle. It's about to come a bad storm, yo. I know I'm pro I'm procrastinating. I can't talk today, but I don't want to get up and go. Like I just don't feel good, but I'm gonna have to force myself. <clears throat> and I need something to eat. I don't know what I want to eat. Anyways, let's just try to get this coffee down and get ready and get out of here. I'm kind of burnt out on that chocolate coffee, just saying. I've drank it for two or three weeks. I have totally not felt this bad in a long, long time. There comes the rain, guys. And yes, I'm still sitting. So, I got y'all set up here. Hopefully my phone won't fall. Um, that was a long process, getting ready and getting out of there. It started raining, and then I'm like, that made me even more tired. But I finally got out, and the rain finally stopped. So, so I gotta go and get my medicine filled. When I get back home, I'm putting what groceries I get up and I'm going to lay around for the rest of the day. But anyways, it's, it's been raining really good and uh, it was thundering earlier, like really bad. It finally passed. So, this is going to be a very, very crappy vlog of my day today. But I'm thankful that nothing else was wrong and 
Now I can get this medicine in me and get to feel better. Because if you've ever had a full blown UTI, they ain't fun. Just saying. Like, I've never had one this bad in my life. I've had them bad to where I thought it was bad, but never like this. And it's just pure hell. Like, straight up hell. It's kind of busy out here today. I do not want to be doing this. So, I very seldomly wear my mama's ring. And when I do, it's just like if I'm going through something or if I miss it really bad. And today, I put it on because I'm missing her so bad. When I'm Every time I get sick, I miss my mama so bad. So, I wore her ring today. And it's weird, but it helps. She had this ring on her hand when she died. Oh, goodness. Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog, or this little piece of the vlog. And I'm going to pay in the road because I don't feel good. And I don't really have nothing to talk about. So, anyways, I'll see you in a minute. Finally made it here. I've been sitting in my car for 10 minutes. No joke. Like, I just, I don't have any energy. I'm gonna tackle this, get my medicine, and go over to Food City. I only got this medicine, y'all. So, they're totally making you wear masks in Food City now. And it flipping sucked because these things are a pain in the rears. Got the groceries done, got what I'm getting. I just, I couldn't do it. Like, I was ready to go. So I got some things and if I need to get some more stuff, I'll get it later because I'm going home. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you guys later.